Yes, I'm still here, Hollywood. And coming up on today's episode... It's so funny. At a very early age, I knew there was an outlet, and I knew that was on a movie set. And I think that drives me every day into waking up and everything, that I know I'll feel most comfortable on a set. Um, I'd say the most surreal was... um, the most upsetting was, uh, uh, you know, and I wasn't in the, I wasn't, you know, in Hollywood when it happened. I was in college, but when River Phoenix passed away, that was, uh, that was uh, tragic, insane. Um, uh, still not over it. <laughs> FYI, prisoners who are sending my wife mail, um, I read it. I never give it to my wife. Uh, <laughs> it sort of is pretty exciting for me. I really feel like I'm. Uh, Reading, reading into something I shouldn't be reading. Um, there's a takeaway from this podcast. Uh, I read my wife's prison fan mail. If you're one to pay attention to Hollywood tabloids, you'd know that it's fairly rare for a child actor to keep their career thriving into adulthood. Well, one versatile star who was in his first hit film at 11 years old has thrived for decades as an actor though he's also pivoted into the world of talk and game show hosting. But despite the many roles and successes he has raked up in his 40-year career, his most important role is being a dad to daughters. This is Still Here Hollywood. I'm Steve Kometko. Join me with today's guest, Jerry O'Connell. 